Thanks, Joel. Women's hoops. Rocky ready to rock at 10 a.m. this morning. Toledo band in rhythm as UT facing Buffalo. Toledo quickly in a nine-point hole, able to dig out of it. Sophia wired off glass. UT in a 9-0 run. But that'd be the Mac player of the year's only field goal. Bulls answer with an 8-0 run. Chella Watson torched UT for 47 in the regular season. Rockets down 15 going to the fourth quarter. That's when UT finally wakes up. Sammy McConowitz working hard in the paint as Quinesha Lockett finds Kira Goss gets the land. As the Rockets turn up that full court press, McConowitz somehow gets the shot to fall. Rossford grad 19 points and 10 boards. And Toledo's full court press giving the Bulls fits. They force a turnover. Out to Wired, misses, but Quinesha Lockett is there for the putback and one. Lockett 18 and 10, part of a 14 0 Toledo run. And we got ourselves a game. Later in the fourth, Toledo down two. Kara Goss drains the triple. Goss 14 points. Toledo leading. Final minute, Rockets up three. Watson drains another three pointer. She finishes with 30. We're going to overtime. Second straight year, these two teams needed OT in Cleveland. Game still tied. Bulls Kirsten. Lewis Williams gets the bucket, Buffalo in front, and they hang on for the 77-74 upset victory. Toledo had some good looks, but couldn't get the shots to fall late or really throughout the game. Not everything that you see on a stat sheet is the game, and if you judged heart and soul, I'd give my team an A+. They played their, their tails off trying to compete in this game. Yeah, we talked at halftime like they're not done. They're going to throw a right hook, and, and it's our job to take it and then throw the knockout. And I think that's exactly what just happened in this game. They knew the punch was coming. Everybody that plays Toledo knows that that's coming at some point. I wish with everything in my soul that we were still playing because uh, I love this group. But, you know, today wasn't our day. We were kind of forcing things a little bit. Um, when the shots aren't falling, um, I thought, me personally, I was playing a little bit too fast. Um, but at the end of the day, coach said it. Um, shots that we normally hit just went fall. You know, it was credit to their defense, but also I thought we had looks we normally hit, and they just weren't going down. And, you know, it, it put some pressure on us in those first couple, uh, you know, one, two, and three quarters. Fourth quarter, I thought our press really did an amazing job of getting us back into the game. I mean, if you look at what we scored in the first three quarters and then 29 in the fourth, it shows you the determination, heart and soul, and desire of this group to play hard for each other to get back in the game. I, I'm really proud of our kids. I don't want to take anything away from Buffalo. I thought they played exceptionally well today. Um, I'm just sad that some of our shots didn't fall that we normally hit. I mean, you can imagine what it's like to lose, but then especially just the run that we've had with this group of girls, like knowing that with these two, it's the last time here for them. Um, it sucks. It's awful. Um, you don't want to be in this position, um, but we still got some basketball to play. Sports Nightly on the road at the MAC Tournament is brought to you by the Glass City Wranglers, Toledo's professional basketball team.